Vargas and Joe Panaccio. And we've got Sean Sharon back on your left playing John Dagro. So we've got four color control versus John Dagro. I know you've got Alex's back in front of you. What do we got there? Oh boy, this is a uh, Aetherling control deck and it's got one, two, three, looks like three colors. It's so hard. Okay, I'm just going to look at his lines. Brown Catacombs is two colors. Sulfur Falls, yeah, so blue, black, red, and white. Okay, so he's got four colors. Four color control with Aetherlings. Jund Agro on the left. So this is a very this is a very different Jund deck, and it actually has something that you brought up earlier in the uh, in in the in the cast, which is there you see it, Vexing Devil. Yes. And that going along with Varl's Does he have it? Yeah, he has Varl's. He has three copies of it in his deck. So Does he have Slumbering Dragons anywhere in that deck? Slumber <laughs> Slumbering a Dragon, a card will bring up on screen for you guys because uh, that one doesn't it's see a ton of play, but. Uh, he does not have Slumbering Dragon. I'm sorry okay. to disappoint you. All right, that's you too bad. You will see no Slumbering Dragons there. Only Vexing Devils. We'll we'll talk about that. We'll talk about the Slumbering Dragon tech in a moment. But let's get back to the action. Sean cast the Vexing Devils. Alex chose to take four, and then Sean follows up with a Grave Crawler and a Death Rite Shaman. And now Alex is evening up the board here with a Searing Spear on the Death Rite Shaman. All right, death, uh, a Death Rite Shaman to replace. It's not bad, but it looks like Sean is having problems with land. I can't tell if Alex is okay. So Alex does have some other lands here. So I believe he's okay. Alex started off at five cards and mulligan to five. Yeah. So he's on his back foot here. Uh, he wants. His... So they both mulligan. Alex went to five. Sean went to six. So Sean is getting a fantastic start for a mulligan, and that's why you mulligan. If you're playing an aggro deck, you don't want to keep funky hands. Yeah, don't be afraid. Yeah. Detention Sphere. I wonder what the target's going to be here. Wow, he's really, really, wow. really scared of Deathrite Shaman. Okay, I mean, he does have... What does he have? He's got three Snapcaster Mages, so he wants to get some value out of his Searing Spear later, perhaps. So if not a bad choice. Overgrown Tomb, attack for two. And I think he has a Verls in his hand. Is Varal's a zombie? No, he's just a troll warrior. Yeah. So what is the zombie synergy here in Sean's deck? So with the, the zombies Gravecrawler? that he has, he has Gravecrawler, he has Lotless Troll, and he has Dreg Mangler. Four Gravecrawlers, four Lotless Trolls, two Dreg Manglers. You're not going to find any other zombies. You're not going to find Geralt's Messenger or um, Diagraph Ghoul, none of that stuff. So his Gravecrawlers probably don't come back very often, but they are there. But he can and, scavenge them. Yeah, good to scavenge with. Yeah, you beat me to it. And there's Varals, the troll warrior. What is he carrying? He's carrying like a Klingon dagger, and it looks like some kind of bola made out of fruits. <laughs> Spiked bolas. Spiked bola. Yeah. Leonin bola? Oh, that, that, I wish that card had been in Modern Masters. That card was too good. Yeah, but with no trinket mage, it's okay, right? It's just not tutorable, that is so good. Sean crashes in. Yeah, we've got a bounce. far. All right, so his game plan here is he wants to bounce his guy with far, take two, okay. go down to eight, and then he has to counter scanner, it, yeah. yeah, for the way back down. I wonder if Sean's going to see through this and just cast Domri Rat instead. I figure, yeah, he, he has Domri, he has Domri in his hand, but he's just going to cast that and get essence scatter. Could have actually really blown it out. It's really bad if he cast the Planeswalker that turn. Yeah, but he didn't know what the counter Ooh. spell was. I mean, if the counter spell is syncopate. Yeah. Maybe he was hoping to get the troll countered and then get Domri on the board. But Alex has the uh, Assemble the Legion. Oh, but Sean draws. A oh, no, he played the wrong card. So he played his fourth land untapped, and then obviously his intentions were to slam down Falkrath right. Aristocrat, but he actually he accidentally slammed down Domri. So I wonder what's going to happen here. If he announced what card he wanted to play, because he didn't really tap any of his lands sure. or anything. They're going to get the table judge involved here. Yeah, and, All right, and, and my is, ruling would be, yeah, you just put the wrong card down. Yeah, and Alex is at six life, too. So, yeah. you know, he sees the Falcon Rath Aristocrat and says, all right, you we, got We me saw here. him put the card down, and he saw what the, what the face was and immediately picked it back up. Yeah. Like, oh, whoops. Yes. And we don't want magic to be a game of gotcha or, you know, reflexes. Yeah. So if, if 
if you're intending to do something and, and nothing has happened, like no information has been gleaned, we know what he wanted to do there. So Sean Scherenbach is going to win this match two to one over Alex Bennett playing four color control, which means Sean is gonna move on to three and oh with his innovative innovative take, excuse me, on John Agro. I'm gonna run down the cards about this deck. Uh, really quickly for you guys at home who are kind of curious. We've got four Experiment 1s, four Grave Crawlers, four Vexing Devils, so 12 1-drops. Uh, two Blood Artists, four Lotless Troll as a 2-drop, so six of those. Three Varls, the Scar Stripes,